That's Count Corla. I, I don't wish to be uh, ungracious, but this is not a time for standing ovations. Uh, it's not a time for self-congratulation, because we are living in one of the richest countries in the world, and yet one in five of our population are living at risk of poverty. As we head into Christmas, there are 3,400 children who are going to go through Christmas in emergency accommodation. Uh, a total of 11,000 people uh, in emergency accommodation, homeless. Many of those children having suffered uh, their second, third or fourth Christmas now in homeless accommodation. Uh, one in five of our population uh, suffer deprivation and a whole generation of young people have no prospect of being able to afford the rents that are being charged uh, or the house prices that have all reached absolutely record levels. And this is happening not because it's necessary, but because Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael have protected the interests of the few over the many. At the same time that we are seeing that shocking level of homelessness, of deprivation, of people suffering, uh, the cruel blows of an unprecedented cost of living crisis, corporate profits have soared through the roof, up 159% uh, over the last uh, decade. Uh, the ESB, the energy companies, uh, this year saw their profits in the first six months treble. But at the same time, we have uh, people on pitiful incomes uh, who do not know, will they have enough money to pay for the electricity? Yesterday, I got um, mess a message from a young woman in Wexford, Jill, uh, a single parent uh, with a child with special needs, who in the last week had put 200 euro in one week into her pay-as-you-go electricity meter. When she rang up Electric Ireland to ask would they come out and check whether the meter was uh, faulty because she simply could not believe uh, that this was what she was being charged, when she has an income of 268 uh, euro, they said, we will come out, but if there's not a problem with the meter, we'll charge you 200 euro just for coming out to see you. Earlier this week, I read out a letter from uh, a mother uh, who herself and her husband and her two teenage children are facing uh, the court to be evicted from the home where they've lived all their lives in February, even though the government claimed they were going to prevent this stuff. People who've paid their taxes, have done nothing wrong, always paid the rent, they, along with thousands of others, are going into this Christmas facing the prospect that they will be homeless in the new year. Uh, that is the legacy of Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. A society for the few, while the many uh, suffer uh, homelessness, deprivation, uh, and struggle to survive uh, day to day. So in our view, this is not a time to change the Taoiseach, uh, it is the time to change government. We need a different type of society where people are put before the profits and wealth of a tiny few. We need a left government, we need a socialist government uh, that will use the wealth and resources that exist in our society to eliminate homelessness, uh, to end the scandal of people waiting on trolleys or nearly a 900,000 people waiting for essential uh, procedures uh, in our hospitals. Um, and I would say to our colleagues uh, in the opposition that if, as we, many of us are saying, it is time after more than 100 years to break the cycle of Fianna Fáil, they've had their chance and they have let us down, then they also need to give a pledge to the people out there that they will not prop up a Fianna Fáil or Fianna Gael government come the next election. It is time for a different type of government in this country that puts the needs of working people 
uh, for basic things like the right to housing and a secure, dignified existence for everybody. That is perfectly possible in one of the wealthiest societies in the world, but it will not happen unless we remove Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael from power.